Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed day. Uh, mine's going really good. I've been having a good time just tinkering out in my garage, uh, working on that bike, getting it straightened out, and just doing a lot of other things. So, hey, listen, I don't know. I mean, we talk about chemtrails all the time, but you know what I've noticed lately? Number one, they have been spraying us five-fold what they used to spray us. I mean, they spray us now literally almost every day. And a couple times I'll take Brody out for a walk. Like the last time I take him out in the backyard is like 10 o'clock at night. And I do that so it didn't wake me up at 6 in the morning. But I'll take Brody out for his last, you know, walk around the backyard. i let him go to the bathroom. And I've noticed that I'll look up and they're even spraying us at night. They're spraying chemtrails in the middle of the night. I guess, I guess they think that people won't notice. And I'll tell you what. There are people so oblivious, they get sprayed in the middle of the day, they don't notice. So anyway, I want to talk to you for just a minute about this question. Do you know precisely where you're headed? Do you know where you're headed? Do you know the path that you're walking down? Do you know where it ends? Do you know the outcome? The Bible tells us to ponder the path you're traveling on. Ponder that path. Ponder means to think about something, to deeply sit there and think about something before you make a decision. In other words, if you have a decision to make, ponder means to sit there and weigh the options and pick the best option that will get you the desired result. That's what ponder means. Jer this is what Jeremiah 616 says and this is also the verse that's on the back of my uh, my ministry cards it says thus says the Lord stand at the crossroads and look and ask for the ancient path where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls people this is what Jeremiah is saying when you come to a crossroads, right, when you come to a crossroads where there's a fork or an intersection or something along those lines, you don't just sit there and look down each one and say, well, this one looks the easiest, I think I'll take this one. Or I wonder where this one leads. It looks like it goes down through that valley. That looks pretty easy. I think I'll take that one. That's not what he says. He says, Stand at the crossroads and look and ask where the good way is. That means you sit there at that intersection till someone comes along that's coming from the opposite direction. And then you can ask them, hey, where does that path lead? And they'll tell you. They've just been there. They know where it leads. And you ask these people where that path leads, and they will tell you. And then you can say, well, yeah, that's the one I want, and, and head down it. People, I remember all the time, all the times in my life when my dad gave me advice. I remember being a teenager and my dad giving me advice, telling me things. And you know that every time I took his advice, it always turned out really good. And whenever I failed to take his advice, I always paid the price. Ponder the path of your feet. I have many friends and relatives that are not Christians. I have several friends and relatives who are professing Christians. And I tell them all the time, listen, if you want to make it into eternity, you need to follow me because I found the correct path and I know where I'm going. Follow me because I follow him. But the problem is they like the path that they're traveling on. They love their path. It's paved, it's completely paved. It's, most of it's downhill. It's easy to walk on. They love it. According to them, it's a good path, but what they don't think of is where does that path lead? Where am I going to wind up when this is all over? Solomon tells us in Proverbs 4, 26 and 27, he says, Ponder the path of your feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Solomon is saying that once you discover that correct path, the path that leads to peace, the path that leads to eternity, the path that leads to eternal life, 
Stay on it. And don't veer to the right or to the left. Stay on that path. You know, about 25 years ago, I was working, after I got out of the military, I was working as a telephone man. And I literally drove all over the state of California. I, I'd spend a lot of time down in the San Francisco Bay Area, all the way up to almost to the Oregon border. I mean, I had a big territory. Well, if I had three jobs that day, say like one of them, I'd leave Sacramento, and I had to go to San Jose, and then up to San Francisco, and then back. Well, back then there was no GPS. You had to go on Google and Google it and get the directions from your house to San Jose, and then you'd get another piece of paper that had directions from San Jose to San Francisco, and then another one from San Francisco home. And you'd have three pieces of paper, and you'd have to follow the directions on each one. Well, then lo and behold, GPS came out. And about, I don't know, 20 years ago, my wife bought me my first GPS. And that's when, first, when GPS first came out. It wasn't on your phones or nothing. You had to buy a TomTom, or this one here is a Nexstar. And I mean, she paid like well over $200 for this thing. But man, when I got this thing, boy, did it make my life easier. I mean, I could just punch in my my address of where I was going, put it up there on the dash, and it would tell me ahead of time where to turn out, what lane to be in. I mean, it was it was the greatest thing ever. And uh, I loved it in the fog, because in the fog it would show you when there's a turn in the road. You could just almost steer by this thing. It was totally cool. But listen, this thing had its flaws. It had its flaws. A couple of times it took me down the completely wrong road. It would have me go off at the wrong exit. More times than I can count, it completely blew it. So I learned that when I was going to go somewhere, I would, I would bring up the map and I would find out generally where I'm going to be. You know, like, oh, I see I'd take the first exit after the bridge or whatever, you know, and I would have a general idea of where I was going. And I would follow that, but I would have a general idea where I was going, and that's what kept me straight. Because GPSs are not foolproof. I mean, they do a good job, but they will lead you astray and take you the long way around. I remember one time, listen, one time I, this GPS right here, it, it had me take a turn off in Oakland, California. And I turned off down this street in Oakland, California, and man, it was the worst gang neighborhood. Cars turned upside down in the middle of the street. I mean, you could tell that no tow truck driver, no cop, nobody went into that neighborhood. And that GPS took me right in the middle of it. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get out of there alive. So listen, the demonic host... Satan and all of his demonic host, they're like a confused GPS. They're trying to get you to follow bad advice and to make a bad turn. That's what they're like. The demonic host is like a confused GPS. You're, tr you're cruising down the path, cruising down the road, and all of a sudden you take a couple of turns and you realize, well, this can't be right. I've been there once before, and I know this is not right. Something's messed up. Well, people, when you get messed up, you got to get out the map and, and get, take a look and say, okay, this is, this is where I need to go, but you can't rely on that thing 100%. This is what it says in Isaiah 30, 21. It says, And thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way walk in it when you turn to the right hand or when you turn to the left. This is what Isaiah is telling us. People, when you're headed down a path, right? When you're headed down the path and you wander off, you go astray, you make the wrong turn, you can still think you're on the right path. But God, he says that God's going to put a little voice in your head, your conscience. And that little voice is going to tell you, hey, you strayed. You took the wrong turn. We need to, we need to repent of this and get back up on the path. Come on, follow me. Let's get, get you back up on the path.
People always listen to that voice that Isaiah is talking about. God's still, small voice. As you're traveling down this path of life, whenever you stray to the right or to the left, that little voice will tell you, always listen to that voice. Because Satan and the demonic host are like a confused GPS. They're always trying to get you to take the wrong turn. And that wrong turn always looks like the right turn. It looks like it's the easiest way to go, but it never ends well. Anyway, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.